Hello everybody and welcome back to Mystery Case Files 13th Skull, the only game that dares to allow you to hang out on this dude's porch. We are the greatest hidden object players in the world, Aquatic Editions. My name is Michael. I'm Amanda. And oh my goodness, have we got a treat for you and you are looking at it. This prime beefcake is uh, who we're going to be chatting with, getting clues from, we're going to be fixing his air conditioner. So much action ahead of us. What is down there? I'm a barn trying, owl? I don't... I think maybe the that's cat? supposed to be a possum? That ain't no possum. Or a, a raccoon? It's not really raccoon looking though. It looks like a possum to me. Or maybe a cat with its ears trimmed? It's probably his witch's familiar. <laughs> okay, but that still would be a type of animal, I think. Mm -hmm. But it could be an animal from a fantasy realm. Maybe we're about to get into the elves and dwarves part of this story. Wouldn't that be great? Um, well, anyway. Anything that gets us away from his stained wife beater. Nice, I, you found some tape. I found some tape, I found some poles. I didn't even know we were looking for tape and poles. Why are we stealing off his porch? Uh, Because it's, he told us to fix his Fine. air conditioner. Did you forget that this is our no, next chore? No, I remember chore? that's what we were doing. I just didn't realize that he already had all this stuff. Like, we don't have to go anywhere. It's just sitting around here. Well, the first two things are here, but then now we're going to have to... Oh, the first three things, actually. This is here. Yeah, I mean, it looks like it's the washboard from his jug band, but in <laughs> fact, it's part of the air conditioner. All right, so I think we go around the side. Yep. Yeah, and there's... Oh, there's the red wire just sticking there out of the garden he's put in a toilet. That's nice. Charming. Love it. It's the best. Uh-huh. All right, uh... Let's crawl under that porch. Maybe we'll meet your cat possum. <laughs> Hello, cat possum. Uh, there is a raccoon. Oh, there you go. And a lizard. Wow. And a cat. And a cat, I guess. All just getting along. How about a toy car? How about a corn dog that still has mustard on it? Ew. Okay, I don't want to be down here anymore. Cantaloupe. <laughs> Pineapple mouse. It's your turn. Find the mouse. I'm working on it. <laughs> kind of figured that, you know, the cat would have found it already, but mm -mm. that is not a mouse. That's a broken record. That is somebody's skinned lollipop. The mouse is in the lower right. So it is. <clears throat> How about a reel? I assume a fishing reel? The, the rod maybe on the left there? Nope. nope. Not that kind of reel? Not that kind of reel. Reel to reel tape? Um, is this it? That's a frisbee. <clears throat> it's what, a round thing. What are other kinds of reels, if not I mean, rod and reel? Tape reel is what I assume Honestly, it that looks like another reel, sure. Yeah, but All it's right. not. So we'll set that aside. Ironing board. Bullhorn postage. Um, huh. Huh. Oh, here's the reel right here. See? Oh, yeah. Film reel. Unreal. It would just way back in shadow. Mm hmm. All right. Bullhorn postage. Post yeah, some straight up stamps down here. Hmm. Which is. There's a stamp next to the snail and corn dog. There we go. Ski goggles. Which are roller right here. skate. I saw the roller skate. It's up by the oversized toothbrush on the left by the bowling pins. White. There you go. Oh, yeah. A pickaxe. You see a pickaxe? I don't. Yeah, far right, rusty. Oh, yeah. In front of the strange bag labeled country style with C O O N T R E? Country style? Country style? Country style. I don't know. Raccoon brand bread? <laughs> it's, it's his bag. Mm hmm. Don't touch it. <laughs> So all we need to do is find a bullhorn. Uh-huh. Wait, in that upper left, doesn't it kind of look like that hat up by the tire has like a keytar design on the... Yeah. On the brim? Yeah. Is that a hat? Isn't it? I don't even know what that's supposed to be, to be honest. Maybe it's par actually part of a keytar. That'd be fun. Yeah. I'm so grossed out by every scene in this thing we all it it's always feels clammy and filthy everywhere we go if you got to pick things up just wrap some toilet paper over there from next to the guitar around your hands uh-huh well i'm gonna do There's the a bunsen burner down here a little little bit of meth 
So that's a bullhorn, huh? Oh yeah, I guess it is. I guess it is. It looked like a record. I haven't really seen a lot of black bullhorns in my time, but whatever. That's a different pickaxe than the one we found. Or else we cleaned the rust off of it, which... Cleaned it up. Good for us. Good. I'm glad we took the initiative to do that. Uh, yeah, we need that thing. Yep. So. And two more wires and a fan. Is the fan, like, under that piece of paper there on the left? There's something kind of fanish. No, down? Yeah. No. no. Uh, apparently... <laughs> Someone has quite the green thumb. If that's Technically, they have green feet because because of the boots. See? Uh, inspect toilet just brings up that caption. Nothing else. Look, there's a freaking mannequin, a mannequin back here. There. That's yeah. not good. Yeah, when you notice it just staring at you, it's a little off-putting. Mm -hmm. We should talk to the man in the stained shirt about his decorating choices. Let's not. Let's go away from him. Oh, back of his truck. Wait, dude, we're fixing your air conditioner. Put the gun down. No, there's only one animation for him from here, and it's the gun animation. It's just, how did our relationship sour so quickly? There's the green string. All right, and... We should keep that gum for later. We have everything. Yeah, but gum. Free gum. No, I'm not taking any <laughs> gum. And I guess we should do this hidden object scene, even yeah, though do we it. don't technically need to. There might be treasure. Maybe there's cash. Maybe it's gross again. Yuck! Yeah, maybe we're just going to find a sponge and a dog treat that we don't want to find. Ew. Ugh. That's okay. so nasty. The dog treat is right there by that silver can. Yeah. I, I honestly don't want to find the sponge. A license plate, a radiator. There's another ice cream scoop. Got that one. Nice. A grill, an arrow. Is this the radiator? There's a... There's a dart sticking out of that cow head. That's probably not the arrow they're looking for, right? Probably not. Nope. Nope. A for real arrow they want. Look at this tiny beer bottle. <laughs> it's weirdly out of proportion. Is beer bottle one of the things they want? Uh, no. No. How about a bottle opener? No. Well, Waste here's, pack. Here's the bowling pin and the shovel they want. Spatula, a tea bag. Well, you saw the gross tea bags before, so I'll put you on tea bag duty. On tea bag patrol. Yeah. All right. Here's the spatula. Oh, here's the tea bag. Sorry, I found it before you. Uh, is this the grill? It's kind of got a grill. Yeah, um, it could be. Actually, that's a hat again. Oh, it's a. Is it the same hat? In fact, with like different lighting, the I camouflage. Think you're right. I think Those stripes right. could have looked like a keytar when underneath a building. Maybe. Huh. Um. I see a flare gun. Grill, arrow, sponge, license plate. There's a snake. There's the license plate. I am striking out. Where's a sponge? Here's some snuff. Is it the soap-looking thing in the foreground? This? It's probably soap, right? Not That's a sponge. Soap. Okay. But I mean, fair enough. A sponge could look like a lot of things, to be honest. It's a weird clue. Is that a frog that I just clicked on? It's kind of like a frog. What's that red bar just straight? Oh, it's like... Oh, is that a squeegee? Yes. Yeah. Okay, it's, it's attached to that handle. I it see. doesn't count as a sponge. Here's nope. the sponge. Halfway off the screen. Mm-hmm. Cheap. That's what it takes. Here's the arrow. See some hey, this is an arrow game. Fuck you. <laughs> you I don't you know care. that Mother Nature does not like us just clicking around. I don't care. The game does not register your protest as legitimate. <laughs> Mother Nature can go to hell. Where's a grill? I mean... Seriously. What kind, what kind of grill do you even want? There's several kinds of grills. Right? Alright, I'm just going to do the hint. Heck with this. Oh, that's the arrow. That's an arrow? I guess. <clears throat> it looks metal. Like, every part of it looks metal. <clears throat> I was not going to get that one. Mm, no. I this wasn't. game had mostly been playing fair up until now. Mostly. 
Yeah, I mean, I don't feel like this that was bad. The arrow's a little dodgy. But the arrow is a little dodgy. Putting something halfway off the screen is not wonderful. And I think you're right about that arrow. You can see the arrow on the sign. Yeah. It's a cattle prod. Oh, it's a... I see. You know what? Fair enough for that one. I should have seen that. All right. Are we going to bury this guy, motherfucker? <laughs> or his dog. Let's bury this fool. I don't know how to fix no air conditioner. Ugh. That fact is established. <laughs> Luckily, we do. Why, why do we know? Because we know how to put a green wire on a green wire in a way that this fellow does not. Uh, okay. That just disappeared into the guts of the thing. No, it went over here. Oh. You have to line it up. Red wire. Red wire. Green wire. Oh, boy. And the cover, I guess. And then set it all on fire! <laughs> Well, I'll be darned. Boom. His name is Cooter. Of course it is. What else would it be? Short for motor scooter. Oh, sent me on an anthill and rub jam in my ears. Okay. No. <laughs> if that's the sound of my old air conditioner running, you just made yourself a new best friend. Great, also, we, no. We don't have any friends. What Cooter can help you with. We might have all kinds of friends from wherever we're from. The swamp? <laughs> oh, yeah, I forgot. We're the frog detective. Yeah. We're a hybrid frog-human detective. Mm. So we've got all kinds of dragonfly friends, I bet. And, that, that we've eaten. And snake pals. Snake pals. All right. Like I was saying, folks say the famous pirate Phineas Crown built that house next door. Some say he's buried in the cemetery down the road. Folks around here are smart enough to stay clear of that place. Except for the dead people. They end up in there all the time. <laughs> yeah, I like that we're going to ask about Crown's fame. It's like, oh, the famous pirate I've never heard of. Oh, Phineas Crown was a wicked one, all right. He used to run a smuggling operation out of New Orleans in the 1700s and eventually got into pirate in the Gulf of Mexico. He and his men would sneak up alongside trading ships in the middle of the night and everyone on board. Like pirates. Instead of looting the ship, he'd steal the whole dang thing. Uh-huh. So, who kidnapped that dude? Because it wasn't a pirate or a ghost? Because those are... That's not a thing, ghost pirates. <laughs> no one knows what happened to the ships he plunged. You just said what? he took them. Folks say he sailed them right up the Mississippi and into the swamps around here. When he got too old for pirating, he built a big old mansion and threw a party. And it was there, people say, that a horrible fire broke out and killed every last guest. Okay. They say his mansion looked like one of them ships. <laughs> like he just run it aground and then put a door in the side. Head inside and introduce yourself to Cooter's wife. Should we bring her her bra? <laughs> Can we? Nope. Nope. I guess it's not dry yet. Uh, we have to go talk to another... <clears throat> yeah, let's find out some more about pirate nonsense from this lady. <laughs> oh, there's a... There's talk a... with Mr. Crickets. I'm going for this one, for sure. Oh, that's huh. all I got to say. Okay. Fine, I'll talk to her. Hi, detective. Welcome to Louisiana. Now we're from here. My the... name's Charlotte. Why don't you cool off with a nice cold glass of lemonade? I take it you've had the misfortune of meeting my other half, Cooter. Good mercy. Where did I go wrong to marry that sack of bricks? It's probably the marrying him is where it <laughs> went south. Uh, right up till the end there, I was like, did they teach her her lines phonetically? This doesn't even sound like words to her. Her staring into space is pretty odd. Are we supposed to take it that she's on some sort of uh, mood stabilizers? Wouldn't you be? Yeah, to live with Cooter. Yes. yes. We finally have some new faces just down the lane. I still should throw them a proper housewarming. 
I'm afraid Cooter doesn't like me leaving the house as he is just plumb sure that I will run off with another man. Anyway, I just spend my days watching my stories and working on my doll collection. Keeps you busy, does it? Oof. Alright, so what are the odds that the husband uh, is tied up in her basement? The missing husband. <laughs> I don't think these two can even hold their own lives together, <laughs> let alone commit a crime. Okay. You saw how easy it was to put together their air conditioner, and that had them stymied. <laughs> Mr. Crickets belonged to my dear mother before she passed, rest her soul. You see, mother was deathly afraid of snakes. And since snakes are afraid of parrots, well, they are. She found Is that a established? And a protector in Mr. Crickets. I apologize for the vulgarity the bird has learned from my loathsome husband. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> that that hate runs deep. Seriously. Why are we asking about dolls? Oh, I don't know. My dolls are my pride and joy. The doctor told us years ago that we should not have children because of Cooter's temper. A doctor told you that? <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't you? Voices console me at night when I wish that what I kind of a doctor was it? Choices. Aside from Mr. Crickets, my dolls are my prized possession. I only need one more to complete my collection. I bet that's where we come in. There's one in that game down at the tavern. I've never had the good fortune of getting it out. So your doll collection, it's not by theme or manufacturer. <laughs> it's just whatever you can get your hands on plus a tavern doll. The collection oh. is complete once you are out of shelf space. Wow. And once you no longer have any stock photo licenses to get more dolls that were shot in different light. <laughs> This different is, sizes and different angles. This one's from Japan. <laughs> oh, wow. How horrible. Um, what do you need air conditioning for? You got a nice hole in the wall right there. <laughs> sure you get a breeze through there. Huh. Pretty doll, pretty doll. Oh, okay, well, they're going to go hey, hard Hey, what if we me. rob your box? Okay. Wasn't Even the recyclables? That doesn't belong to you, stranger. Not yet. <laughs> hey, have you ever seen me rip up a painting? <laughs> I mean, don't you think I I deserve something for getting your stupid air conditioning working? I just might have myself a glass. I, I might, and then, then I might not. No, I don't think I will. Hey, look, a painting for us to tear apart. I know. Nope. There's usually clues in them. Nope. Alright, so nothing happens until we win the doll, which is what the... Her, her coffee table is just plywood on some cinder blocks. Uh huh. I just feel the need to note. I want to see more about what that magazine is that she's reading. Mm, I think it's Ghost Pirate Monthly. Doesn't that Suspicious. Look like a, doesn't it look like a skeleton? Kind of. Yeah, kind of. Not now. <laughs> Jesus, lady. Wow. Her, Xanax is wearing off. Her husband's temper is the problem, huh? Right. <laughs> Not that she shook any of her dolls so hard the heads fell right off. <laughs> no, the doc's like, it's Cooter's temper that you should look out for. Oh, another one of those. That's why it keeps letting us look in here. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, the important thing is there was an eerie laugh when you got it, so <laughs> that joke paid off. Do we... What are we doing back here? I was. I thought we needed to go to the tavern, but we have yeah. to go like all the way, the long way around to get back to the tavern. I guess. Yeah. Wait, no. This nope. is the gas station. The tavern's here. There we go. It's the other gross-looking building. Uh huh. It's still ladies' night. Play the claw. Now we can play it. All right, we have a quarter. It's in our inventory. No, we don't. We put it in the um, phone. Oh, we put it in the phone and then didn't know who to dial. Didn't we get it back? No. Maybe Is it we programmed make enough call? to hit the coin return? Oh, yeah. We have someone's phone number now, don't we? 
Hey, give us our quarterback. What the hell? Try the coin purse. Did we? Oh, okay. Infinite coins. All right, well, let's take it and do the claw thing. All right. Since I don't... I don't remember the phone number offhand, and I don't want to look it up. It's probably in our book. So how do I play this? Uh, probably hit the red button. Yeah? No. I imagine it'll just make us do this a couple times. Uh. Oh, charming. You hear that somebody belches while we're doing mm -hmm. this? Wouldn't you? Yes. I mean, which of these is even a doll, really? I, I'm sure that it's probably just hidden behind and it doesn't matter when you press the button. You just gotta do it, like, two or three times until they figure you'll get bored. There. There it is. What the hell? That is a specific doll. How did I, they even get the rights to that? That's an American Girl Felicia doll. Huh. Felicity, rather. So we can turn them in. <laughs> hey, do we have time for another game of checkers? We are not playing more checkers. Hey, do we have time to order some deep fried lettuce? No. There's no time for any of that. We've got to take this doll back. It's a em doll emergency. Please stop pointing the gun at us, best friend. <laughs> He's going to point that gun at us forever. You can lead a horse to water, but you can't make him think. Do we just put it on the shelf ourselves? Yep. It's a lot smaller than I thought it was. Mm -hmm. Those other dolls are huge. Yeah, that's seriously an American Girls doll. Well, it's also probably an affordable stock photo. I guess. Let's talk Boy. to Lady Valium. <laughs> You've completed my collection! It took us less than a minute, Lady. What's oh. your problem? <laughs> Don't they look so happy all together like that? Did no. you just not have 50 cents? There was no skill. Fifty cents? Cooter handles the finances. Let us in that trunk of yours. <laughs> I'll let you borrow Mr. Crickets for a little while, but what? you have to keep him away from that Mary Lee. Is Mary Lee one of those snakes he hates? <laughs> yes, Look, she's the housekeeper, and I don't want to hear about their Mary beef. Lee is the housekeeper? Yeah, she's the housekeeper with the terrible wig. I guess we're going to find out more details about her. I hear she consorts with the devil. I don't... Working for them folks down the road should not be trusted. Who knows what kind of voodoo she could do to my sweet Mr. Crickets? I didn't think if about I that you, angle. I would keep my eye on her. Ain't nothing worse than a voodooed up parrot. I just completely turned around on this actress with that one line. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's stick the bird in our pocket. <laughs> Thanks for letting us borrow your parrot i didn't even know that was a thing parrot borrowing i don't know why we took your parrot i don't know why you offered us a parrot question mary more about voodoo and her beliefs this this just devil seems worshipers. so much like we hired actors and you're gonna hear about it i don't care that you guys hired actors to do these things you shouldn't have it was a mistake what, what would your preference be never talk to anybody just do some puzzles and clues and... And occasionally have a ghost pirate laugh at you. Yeah. I, I mean, guess it, the parrot's not going to get us past its arch nemesis, the snake. It flew away, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. I thought it was just like a little animation of something over here, but I think the parrot flew away while we were here. I think we're going to have to get in here to retrieve the parrot. I think I was just clicking so fast that it, like, So we didn't past. see it happen? I saw it happen, but I just didn't realize that was what it was. I saw, like, a flash of something across the screen I thought it was supposed to be. I will murder you, dog. <laughs> oh, boy. No one would ever convict me, because I'm a detective. Who's going to solve that crime? <laughs> I'll frame the checkers player. She finally is doing something else. She's not sweeping that one patch of floor anymore. Well, you know, it's probably afternoon by now. Just who do you think you are running around here making such a mess? 
that foul excuse for a dog got into the garbage that you lost <laughs> it to spread across the kitchen. Yeah, that was fun. Now it is one thing to be investigating the disappearance. He might be in the garbage. I don't know. <laughs> to be making a mess for me. Now I suggest you find that trash and pick it up. Uh, that's not what I was hired to do. What? What? Are you fucking kidding me? I'm pretty sure I'm getting paid to do something more important. Then pick up trash that I intentionally left on the ground while trying to. Ugh. No. Nope. didn't like their hot dog. We're Only doing one this. bite? <laughs> that hot dog looked fine. Well, I bet that he started to eat that and then he was kidnapped by a ghost pirate, so it's <laughs> not really anything to do with the food, you know? <laughs> In the opening movie, he's like, he got one little bite in before he got yanked out the front door. Yes, While exactly. his daughter watched. Yep. I can't believe we're going around picking up garbage as part of this plot. Hey, kid, want a hot dog? She she does not. I guarantee she doesn't want a hot dog. Is there something over here? There's nothing I think over so. here. I don't think there's... The dog had the decency not to scatter trash in the little girl's room. Mm -hmm. Good for the dog. Way to go, dog. Uh, was there something that we had for these? Yep. Yep. The rusty cage is tightly fastened. Do you have a screwdriver? Um, we got a lot of tools. We do, but we don't have a screwdriver. Hmm. I think I could, Foiled again. I think we could make MacGyver it with a wrench. Mm hmm. No. You know. Southern. Southern. Um, nothing up here, I don't think. Oh. Oh, there's a puzzle. I don't want to do that puzzle. Okay. Oh, there's something over here. Did we see this before? No. Huh. I guess we're going to see that code somewhere, so that's good to keep an eye out for. Yeah. Let's so, climb down two the things room. sitting up in the attic. Uh, yeah. Now we go look for more trash. This is just the nastiest game we've played so far. We just, just picked up a whole TV dinner. Is that some pie? Yep. I regret taking this case. I really am... We gotta change our lifestyle choices. Sickened, yeah. Let's hop on that computer and learn how to program. <laughs> Let's take some uh, boot camp courses online. I need a job in IT. What's inspect phone? Uh, I think it just does a dial tone. Oh. There's no one I wish to call at this moment. I mean, we have a list of phone numbers that we got from the uh, tavern that we could be calling from here instead of doing it on a payphone where we have to pay a quarter, but that would make too much sense. So. But we also have an infinite coin purse, so whatever. We're rich. Oh, yeah. Oh, boy. Where's more gross stuff? We don't actually see the floor in here, so this is a bad place for garbage. Ooh, we gotta steal that bone back from him? No. Nope. That's the one we gave him. Ew. Gross. And the last thing is, what, a torn up a tennis, tennis ball, ball, I think? Yeah. Why don't you just leave that? The dog can chew on it. It's fine. There it is. Alright. We have appeased the housekeeper. Dispose of it with the garbage disposal in the kitchen. Oh, more do grossness. Not, no, do not put a tennis ball down the garbage disposal. Or a bone. Yeah, this is very bad advice. I feel me. like this is us sabotaging the housekeeper again. And we're going to blame her for why we crammed a whole aluminum tray from a TV dinner <laughs> down into the garbage disposal. It's like, I don't know. I'm a detective. Why was I touching garbage anyway? Good. Good. I'm glad. I approve of us. She's going to get fired. I can't wait. All right, horrible woman. Let's hear your bullshit. Oh, detective, you smell like that garbage you've been picking up around here. If you've got a question to ask me, you best be quick about it. Oh, I hate everybody in this game, but especially her. <laughs> Let's frame her for the crime no matter what. Agreed. If the game asks us, like she's before. who did it. 
My beliefs are no concern of yours, detective. But what if we if ask one more time? To find out about voodoo, I suggest you find your way downtown and speak with someone named Mama Amy. Ugh. She runs the store down the way. She should be open about now. She can answer any questions you might have. Oh, I'm sure. Because we passed by there and we saw the close sign. Why does the detective need to verify this? We know it. Nope. We gotta go. We gotta do the bidding of this housekeeper in everything. I can't believe you don't want to talk to that doof in the rain jacket as we pass by. Why? What would we say to him? I don't know. Maybe he's got some... Folksy wisdom? Yeah. Shouldn't you be looking for Mr. Lawson? There. We are. What if he's hiding in your coat? <laughs> We're leaving. All right, you ready for this? Never. This is probably going to be terrible. Oh, wow, what a change. <laughs> Let's uh, do some browsing in the shop. This is probably going to be offensive and terrible, is what I'm saying. Charcoal hair clip matchbook. Hmm. Hmm. Everything in here looks like it could be a hair clip. And everything in here looks like it should be set on fire, so... Or at least dusted once. A crystal ball, rope, an hourglass. Hmm. Uh, it's just such a mess in here. I don't even know. I'm not, I'm not even seeing something easy like the hourglass. Is this it? No, the hourglass is right next to the purple feathers. Okay, well, I'm glad... So that's one easy thing. There's the matchbook. Cool. A monkey paw? Oh, it's right up front. It's yellow for some reason. Yuck. That monkey was not eating right. <laughs> a comb? Do they want the cox comb? No, this game is not that complicated. They probably want a regular comb, right? I don't know. I don't even see... Oh, you mean this? Yeah. It's not that complicated. There's a purple one stuck right in the feathers. Oh, yeah. See? When in doubt, don't assume they're being clever. Yep. Here's the sage. Oh. I thought the sage was that uh, yellow, pink ribbon wrapped thing. That's a different thing. Oh. Uh, drum, dagger, onk. The onk is on the book up there. By okay. the mushrooms that are growing on your <laughs> shelf. God, you gotta clean up. I think those are wood, like a wood ornament. Please. <laughs> Please be a wood ornament. Hey, a snake. A snake. A snake. Our parrot hates those. I want that. All right. Uh, a drum, a dagger. What's this? I don't know what that is. I can't tell what that's supposed to be. Here's a trumpet, I think. Yeah, trumpet. Weird kill Pencil off kilter trumpet. Weird. Oh, the hair clip is also on the purple feathers. Those purple feathers got in a lot of work. <laughs> uh, here's a rabbit's foot. Do they want that? Nope. They don't want that. Drum, dagger, crystal ball, some rope. Oh, the is dagger's this? under the scorpion on the right, on the big boa constrictor. Um, where? See the boa constrictor? On its bottom most coil? Yeah, you were just on it. Up from the garlic. Oh, that's a dagger. Yeah. That did not read as a dagger to me. Mm. I clicked on that earlier looking, thinking it might be the hair clip, so... Mm. It was just really not registering as anything sharp to me. Uh... You think a crystal ball... Is this it? No. No. Yeah, you would think a crystal ball would be easy. Or a rope. Man. The rope is hidden behind... Oh, you okay. You know, again, feathers, putting in the work. Yeah, charcoal is also tricky. I'm only going to look at the feathers going forward. There's charcoal. Oh, I would have looked for a briquette, yeah. not a drawing charcoal. Yeah, that's... And the drum is also like, what? That could be so many shapes. Like, I thought this was the drum. I'm not 100% clear what that is. Is it a jar full of eyeballs? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> and a know. mouse? I think there's a mouse in there. Here's the drum, I guess. Oh, right. All right, just the crystal ball left. Is this it? Look, yes. that is not. that is more than halfway off the screen. Uh -huh. Come on. Oh, boy, some charcoal. And we're not paying for it. It goes straight in our pocket. Um, looks like Mama Amy needs to restock the items on this shelf. I get that, bet that's going to be our problem. Are those dried fish? <sighs> Where? On the shelf. Underneath. 
Oh, we yeah. can at least buy some dried fish from her. Oh, yeah. Give us a fish. Well, you can ask her about that. I will. Welcome Hit the fish button. Folks around these parts call me Mama Amy. Look like you got something on your mind, child. Come on in. We did. Take a look around. We did. You're not a good detective. I am. <laughs> I got some questions. I don't know that we are a good detective. I feel like a good detective would be holding their own and maybe uh, holding the line and not doing the chores like, you know, air conditioning repair or trash pickup. We're doing pretty good for being half frog. You got me there. Afraid I don't rightly know of any lost souls, child. No, we we know about them. We're just asking if you've seen them. Best be moving on. Make no mistake. There's evil up there. We've met her. I can tell by the look in your eyes. You've seen the face. <laughs> and we've seen her wig. <laughs> I'm shook. Tell me more about her wig. I'm sure by now someone has told you about the curse of the evil Mr. Crown. Oh, different evil. I'd be happy to tell you more, but I don't much care for charity. The damn. wig is the ghost! The rain oh, is keeping me from stocking my inventory. How about you go fetch me some items for my display here? Can like anything? Ask? And I may teach you a little voodoo. Uh, do you sell garbage? Because <laughs> I know where to find a TV dinner, most of a hot dog. Oh, we gotta go around the swamp and the town looking for all this garbage. Honestly, I'm kind of excited about finding this stuff. We're gonna find a gator foot. Well, we know where the um, where the monkey paw is because we exclaimed over how disgusting it was when we saw it in here. Yep. And is it monkey or gator? Probably monkey, huh? Look like a monkey paw to me. You sure you don't want a half-sucked-on lollipop, lady? You could sell it. <laughs> Big money. Uh, uh, how about... I mean, this looks like voodoo here. Right? Right? Some chicken's having a bad day because of that. <laughs> All right. Don't get the special. Okay. Don't get the special? Is that what he said? Yeah. That's, that's charming. It's great. All right. Is there... What? Nothing. I was going to look in the kitchen. Okay. Seems like a place that some of this stuff so might be. We're looking for purple mushrooms, a peacock feather, a turtle shell. Yeah. Uh, an egg, I think, an animal skull, and a red flower. Well. Those are eggs. Do you want just any eggs, lady? What if we steal eggs from a restaurant for you? No. Okay. She wants real swamp eggs. I can't. All right, um, nothing here, surprisingly. I thought... Is there anything in the gas station maybe to steal? Let's go check. Um, pumps are turned off. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Can we look in here? Can we look in here? Just gotta don't go in the side here. I just love that hole. It seems to be closed. Walk right in. <laughs> Nobody's here. Help yourself. Of course. I need some new windshield wipers. I don't... No, nope, I don't think there's anything in here. I don't see it, yeah. I mean... You sure you don't want to... It's too bad this game isn't encouraging us to shoplift inside a bait store, but <laughs> maybe we really are going to find this stuff out and about or in the swamp. Boo. Time to head down to the swamp? I guess. But we can't because we don't have the parrot that was going to get us past this thing. That parrot abandoned us, and now we're screwed. You sure you don't want a lure, fishing lure lady? Seriously, you could sell a fishing lure. I mean, looks like I better watch where I step. I don't really see right. anything on this screen. Well, they wouldn't have given this full shopping list to us if we couldn't pick it up with what we have now. So I don't feel like it can be hidden behind... Oh yeah, nice. I don't feel like it could be hidden behind the snake. There must be other town spots that this stuff is at. Alright, this is actually where the uh, husband and wife, Mary Lee and her husband, live. The groundskeeper and the housekeeper? Yeah. So we're going to break into their house, maybe? I mean, I'm in favor. 
Yeah, grab the wrench. Or a shovel. Come on, let us in. Anything, anything. Set it on fire. Do it. <laughs> oh, you're right. Accelerant first. Yeah. If you're going to get into arson, do it right. Okay. All right, fine. That rubbing paper and charcoal are going to go together in the graveyard, huh? It seems like, yeah. Um, uh, can we look Maybe in the wheelbarrow? Here? No. Here? No. Um... Maybe on... Is there anything around here? Was there... I don't see the... Any of those... Th ah! I hate nope. that. No egg, no turtle, no peacock feather. No purple mushrooms. Mm -mm. That would be a good place for it, too. Yeah. Some symbols. I think we used those already. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Uh, uh, we don't have any keys that fit here. We've tried those two before. Yep. So. Is there something in here? Wait. I keep going down like I'm, it's going to be in the inventory. Um, I don't think so. Just that gum that we left behind. And a DVD of the documentary Hard Target about Jean-Claude Van Damme's Cajun adventures down around here. <laughs> with Wilford Brimley. It's directed hey, by John Woo. He's back. Yeah, let's get him again. This time, hold on to him. Nope, nope. there he goes. How the hell? The parrot keeps getting away from me. How are we supposed to do that? Can we ask her? So what's up? No, she won't Why talk to us. Why did I marry that man? Alright. Keep your hands off our property. What? What is this? Don't ask. <laughs> I'm asking. Why is there a sock over that lamp? I, just go. That doesn't belong to you, stranger. Who does it belong to? It's a giant leg bone that's been gnawed on, and you don't have a dog. <laughs> they do have a dog, see? Oh. It's just only visible from this angle. Right. <laughs> it's one of those dogs that's only there while you're looking at it. <laughs> one of those physics dogs. I am so baffled by that stupid parrot thing. <clears throat> what are we supposed to do about that? I don't know. Because there's not like it's not like there's any other direction we can go from here. Right. There's not an alternate route to get to the snake. <gasps> Maybe we're just Maybe we somehow got ahead of the plot by getting the parrot and we're supposed to have done this Mama Amy thing first? I don't know how, but let's look around inside, I guess. Um, I mean, swamp in town, I wouldn't think, includes the house. Well, hmm. let's go at least out back here. Uh-huh. Check this again. Yeah. Nope. No? All different gross things. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Oh, found something new though. See, see, I know. <laughs> I don't know how you, have, know. you haven't proved that any of this has anything to do with stuff we're gonna sell to the voodoo lady. We're not gonna sell it. We're voluntarily doing this for some reason. The pencil you were just on, it was inside that tilted over a cup. Oh, okay. As well as a screwdriver that we know that we need up for by the beehive. Oh. So I hope that's what we get to keep. Well. Fingers crossed. Uh, bicycle pump was in the box under the table. Oh, yeah. I remember that one. Here's the wire brush. We've yeah. been asked to find these things before, some of them. Utility knife. Uh, sounds familiar. There's the belt. All right, we need a nut, a nut, spark plug. Oof. I feel like I saw the, sp oh, the spark plug's right there, yeah. Yep. Utility knife, scissors, saw blade, earplugs. Earplugs. They're just blended in, kind of. Oh, wow. Yellow on yellow. Mm-hmm. The saw blade, I think, is brown for some reason instead of metal colored. It's up under the T-square. You are right. That is not saw blade colored. It's rusted. 
It's a mantis. Mm-hmm. Utility knife skizzers. There's the utility knife. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And the scissors are going to be, what, halfway off the screen? Halfway nope. under the table. Nice. Yay! Yay! Let's screwdriver. go get past those bees. Dog! Screwdriver time. Cool. What? Oh, to put the parrot in. Uh, sure. Now, I could have thought that we would just keep a death grip around the neck of that parrot, but I guess <laughs> that's not how it's done. All right, now it's in the cage. Please don't shoot me. <laughs> oh, no. Nope. Wrong turn. Wrong turn. This way. This way. Ah, oh, finally! And now sick him. Mess him up. Oh, just look at him. Uh, okay. Oh, a code for something. It's not talking nonsense. Have you never played this game before? <laughs> this kind of game? It's a code. Yeah, look, big old crocodile. Let's feed the parrot to him. I mean, it's not our parrot, you know? Right, so who cares if it goes back home? <laughs> Uh, oh, this is... Is this the parrot code? Uh, 5, 25, 40? So that would be 5. Uh-huh, and then two tens and 5. And, and then, then... 1, 2, 3, 4? Um. Right. 5, 45, 20. Oh, 5, 45, 20. 45, 20. But what's... Would it be five and then and then twenty? Okay. But this has also got some symbols involved in it, so I guess this is a different thing. I guess so. Thankfully, the rickety board rock keeps me above him. We'll definitely trust your life to this. These two boards that aren't even nailed to anything. In Roman numerals, isn't there a different letter for 50? Um, yes. C? C is 100, I think, for century. And M is 1,000. Yeah. Is there a 50? I can't remember offhand. Huh. I was just wondering if the 45 that we were asked to do was like, you know, 5 to the left of a... 50 may be 50. L, actually. Oh, uh, yeah. And um, and there's no L. There's no L, so I don't think it's that. I think that it's uh, just a different... Is that Bigfoot over there? Where? Over on the left behind the tree, a dude leaned out. Uh, I'll just give him a little while to loop. He'll come back. Are you sure? Yeah, Big, I mean, the footprints lead towards him. Bigfoot's not known for coming back. He always returned to the scene of the crime and cryptids. I don't see him. Be patient. It's a slow loop. Well, in Just the meantime... be a frog detective and enjoy <laughs> being the rain in the swamp. I'm, I'm going to click on the footprints. Okay. okay. Footprints in the mud suggest I'm not the only one snooping around out here. So does seeing the other person who's snooping around out here. Oh, another one. Huh. Oh, so there's... Is it a code for each one of these in sequence? Yeah, probably. Okay. But they've also got symbols on them. I hate it. Yeah, I don't like it either. Who's dumping cannons in the water? You know, cannon dumpers. Um, what are you guys? Three. Guard their nest. Vicious alligators protectively guard their nest. Hey, I know where we could find a gross old entire chicken. <laughs> that we can toss at it. Oh. Whoa, what we just went right at? past them. Excuse us, baby alligator on the left. We're going to steal your alligator egg. Huh. Seems uninterested. Yeah, sure. I guess we have to find all those crown symbols to get this to do something oh, wow. eventually. Was there a... No. I thought for a second that I saw... Um, purple mushrooms? Purple mushrooms, but that was the different. Alright. Uh... I'm waiting. 
Are you sure you saw Bigfoot? Uh-huh. Not my doubts. Hey, you know what? You're in luck. Uh, we recorded this and then you can watch it on YouTube. <laughs> okay, fine. Um, did do do alligators really hiss? Yeah. Huh. Can we go further out? Oh, there he is. That's the person I saw. Well, that's not Bigfoot. It's some other. Look foot. at the size of those feet. Something I can do for you, stranger? Let me see your feet. <laughs> I don't know nothing about it. Frankly, I don't care to. <laughs> I'm proudly ignorant. <laughs> I stopped learning things 18 years ago this very day. You didn't even care to fake a Louisiana accent, He's let not alone. around here. He's a stranger. Oh. Don't tell me you came all the way down here to ask me such foolish questions. Do I look like I want to be bothered? Mm, no. Let's bother him. I bet this is the guy from the tavern that we played checkers against, but now he's got a fake uh, beard on and he's doing he's a different disguise. voice. I mean, they just had the same actor do the, this part. Cause... You know what it probably is, is he's got too much action from the ladies and he has to dress like this just to get a break. <laughs> <laughs> the only ghost around here is going to be wearing your shoes if you don't leave me alone. That's not a thing. <laughs> Ghosts don't wear shoes. Hey, we're going to go into your house. The shack appears uninhabitable if it weren't for the lights inside. And the guy who maybe lives here. <laughs> Come on, detective. <laughs> two and two together. <laughs> this guy is like... The purple mushrooms. Threatening us with a gun, but we walk right past him and it's fine. Yeah. If I could climb this? I might be able to see inside the shack. What do you wouldn't even need to look in there for, you creep? The deflated boat isn't going to get me over that water. So we're going to need the bike pump at some point? Ugh. <clears throat> Ugh. I can see shadows moving about inside, but I have no way to access the shack. Why would you want to? Hey, he's gone. Good. Now who's going to shoot us? <laughs> if we have to shoot ourselves, I'm going to be disappointed. <laughs> That would be sad. Okay, two more things. A skull and a peacock, peacock feather. feather. I haven't seen a single peacock. Mm -mm. So, both of these lead to Swamp Path, and then this leads to Swamp Shack. Swamp Shack. But that's it for Swamp. And here. We just left the parrot here the whole time. I think we're probably going to leave the parrot here forever. Yeah, that parrot's installed here yeah. from now on. If that lady wants her parrot back, she can haul ass and come get it. 5, 45, 20. Uh, so where's the third cannon that we might put that into? Uh, I'm going to guess uh, maybe in that shack. <laughs> A cannon in the shack? Yeah, maybe. Or, you know, or on the other side of where the inflated boat gets us to. On the other side to. of where the inflatable boat gets us to. It's mm. probably over here somewhere. A path across the marsh is blocked by deep, dangerous water. Yep, fair enough. Good thing we have no reason to think that has any bearing on our investigation. We're looking for a missing guy, Frog Detective. What are you doing? Ready? I mean, I know that he was looking for a ghost pirate, but we know that he wasn't didn't disappear while he was over here looking for ghost pirate stuff. He disappeared from his house. So you think we should be searching in the house? No, I'm just saying there's no reason to think that any of the pirate stuff over that way is relevant. Mm. So, I don't know. Where do we go next, you think? Let's poke around town a little more. Alright. Do you think maybe some of the stuff will be in here? Wouldn't that be funny if we hand her something from her own shop? I mean, I don't know. I just, I remember seeing a peacock feather in here. So I was like... Can we drop off the stuff we already have? I don't think so. Just... Oh, yeah. yeah. Great. Clean up the inventory. Perfect. I'm not giving you that screwdriver. Why do we still have the screwdriver? Are we going to get to use something more than once? That's weird. Maybe. All right. Um, Skull and peacock feather we still need. Yep. Here's a skull. What do you need more skulls for? <laughs> you got the best skull that could possibly be skulls. It's got antlers. That's cool as heck. Yeah. 
Hmm. Service station? Tavern? I mean, we checked both those places, right? Yeah. I just, I, I can't think off the top of my head where we might find a peacock feather, you know? Maybe back at the house. Or maybe in this house. That we can't get into? Let us in this house! Locked. I'll have to find another way inside. How about this window that we could easily break open? Go for it. Come on. We tried this already. We didn't try it with the screwdriver. <laughs> I'll try every tool to jam in there and wiggle it up and get it open. Um... How about in that closet? Shut up, dog! No? No. No. Um, is this a game that gives us a map where we can see where there's things to do? There's a map, but it does not tell us where things go. No. Oh. Where things are, rather. Like, hey. as far as activities go. You know there's Roman numerals on this map? Oh yeah, so there are. But, um... I don't think any of them go up to 45. Well, there's 33. 33. 19. 30. 31. I'm just wondering if, like, the parrot is telling us where stuff is. Hmm. What were the numbers again? One of them was 20, and one was 45. 5, 45, 20, I think. That sounds right. So if we could find out where any of those are... Maybe. It would tell us if they're connected to anything. Maybe. But I don't see a... Here's 25. Here's 5. It's in the um, graveyard. Oh. So really not helpful right now. That's something though. That's something. You gotta get into the graveyard. There's 20. It's just kind of uh, here. Back in the swamp. Yeah. I don't know. Hmm. Maybe there's this many. In Do you cannons. see that the the creepy guy you offered to shoot us to death is a cryptid shadow in the back? Oh yeah. This map has got everything. <laughs> hey, here's some symbols. Oh yeah, sure enough. It's weird. Well. That's well, enigmatic, but we still need a stupid feather and a stupid skull, so... You think the hint will tell us where to look? I was wondering, maybe if we wander the tree stump outside the swamp? Okay, I mean, that's that's a solid hint. That's not even a, a glowy, you should go this way. Uh, Damn, did we even know that was clickable? I think we did have to look at it once before. There's one of those cards, too, if you think we actually need them. I think we do. Unfortunately. Give us this money! I do, th I do kind of remember being upset we couldn't take money. Yeah. Well, I mean, there's been several instances that... I'm upset every time. <laughs> All right, let's do another hint and find the stupid skull. All right. I'm done with this. Remains of a possum were outside the carriage house where I released the rats. Wow. I was not going to think about that either. I'm glad we did the hint. Yeah, seriously. I forgot that was clickable at all. So maybe this will give us a chance to do one last interesting thing before we wrap this up. Oops. Oh, wow. No, I'm just, just slammed the door in her face. <laughs> I don't want to give you anything to sell. It's only four bucks. Oh, wait. Seven dollars for that. You're never going to get 16 for that turtle shell. <laughs> She will if she tells people that they got a brutal love potion in it or something. Oh, yeah. Thank you for running that errand, detective. Why don't you take this as payment? Okay. Uh, Thanks. What is it? It's what I call a sleeping conjure. She heard you me. put a little in someone's drink, and they will sleep fine for a short while. I'm starting to believe in is her power. Is anything else Mama Amy can do for you? Yeah, help me find a missing guy? <laughs> Just do my job for me, or... Get the garbage stink off my hands? <laughs> Ooh, Crown. Just hearing that name makes my blood run cold. It's the man who built, and then rebuilt, the house down the way. I say rebuilt, 
because he burned it. Oh, when he all the guests died? The ground with the screams of his 13 crewmen inside. I was right, it used to be a boat. Want them knowing where he <laughs> hid the treasure. Aren't there easier ways to hide treasure than arson and murder? You would think, but I mean, he's a pirate, so he just kind of does what he knows. Mm -hmm. One skull each for every man who died in the fire. Like the name of the I game. Crew with him long after he passed on. <laughs> find the skulls and you find the treasure. <laughs> I reckon that nasty old Mr. Crown is keeping watch over what he don't want found. If he didn't want it found, how come he put the skulls there that you knew to follow? Hmm. Are you in cahoots with a dead guy from the 1700s? Yep, that's the uh, swan, uh, scarf for him that she's knitting. Oh, wow. They're yep. best friends. Scarf buddies. Best be careful out there, detective. Snakes and gators aren't the only trouble in those waters. The only reason someone would be out there is because they want to be left alone. Oh yeah, we had someone tell us that explicitly. Tell that Mrs. Lawson that no one has seen nor heard from her missing husband. I could tell her that, but she's gonna pay me to keep looking, so <laughs> it doesn't really matter. Well, do you want to go report to her that we've got nothing to tell her? Yes. Let's do it. Let's do it so she can be snide to us Maybe again. she'll fire us and then we'll be free. We can just turn the game off. Alright. Hey, we suck. We smell like garbage. What do you mean no one's heard of my missing husband? No one's heard of him. I've posted signs around town and it's all over the paper. Are you sure you had a husband? Marcus wouldn't have simply wandered off and left my daughter and I alone. Have you met you this and your daughter? <laughs> in the first place. I'm sure those crazy locals had something to do with it. Hey, what, where, what happened to those paintings that were on the wall behind you where you could see the stains? Hmm. What are you trying to hide, lady? That crazy neighbor of ours. He fires his gun at anything that moves. How do I know he didn't attack Marcus? Have you met the lowlifes at that bar? Uh -huh. That dive bar down by the, the They play river? checkers. It's filthy. Don't tell me that place isn't full of criminals. Uh-huh. The worst I'm kind. I'm beginning to wonder if that couple we hired isn't behind all this. I got my suspicions about them, too. One of them wears a wig. There's something shady about them. I can't put my finger on it, but I've seen the way she looks at me. <laughs> I thought we were doing them a favor by giving them jobs and letting them stay in the carriage house. I would appreciate it if you would quit running all these little errands and get to the bottom of things. <laughs> Me too. Thanks for having my back about not running errands anymore. <laughs> it's good to have your support. Uh, you know, we've played detectives in several of these games. Uh -huh. And I will have to admit that this is probably closer to a detective's actual work than any of those other games. Where you have to go around and talk to annoying people constantly questioning and re-questioning them about stuff that they should have just told you originally to yeah. begin with. But um, I still hate it. So, Alright, let's agree not to be <laughs> detectives in real life. <laughs> let's not be detectives. Yeah, that's Looks my like upshot. That here to stay this evening. How goes the investigation, detective? Kind of damp. <laughs> hey, are you into voodoo? <laughs> See how I snuck up on him with that question? I recommend fooling with, detective. You best be keeping an eye out for a missing Mr. Lawson. And keep the other eye off me and my wife. But Not what if the first eye's looking at you and your wife and then the other one looks for Lawson? That carriage house is going to stay locked. <laughs> Let me into your house. I know. You best be respecting our privacy. I'll respect That's you to filth. Not even your fucking house. If I want to go in there, I will. Well, I don't believe in ghosts, but that place makes me uneasy. Funny you ask, though. The only time I seen it open was the morning after Mr. Lawson disappeared. You can't be thinking that some ghost come out of his <laughs> grave and went after him. Nope. No. No. <laughs> That's also the morning I saw them weird boot prints that looked like someone's heels had been dragged backwards into the graveyard. <laughs> like someone was being carried away. Not under their own power. It was the damnedest thing. And someone was shouting from back in the swamp, Help me! Help me! They are trying to kidnap me! Please, I have a wife and child! It's coming back to me now. I remember thinking that was a little strange. <laughs> But my wife, she said, no, we're too busy casting voodoo spells on them. We want them to die in that swamp, but don't be asking any details about how we did it or why we did it 
or when we did it, because it was just before the kidnapping <laughs> that I did not witness. Are you done? <laughs> I don't. I don't want to cut you off by asking him about the keys. You know. No, I think we're we're on the right trail. Did you hear all those answers he gave <laughs> yeah, us? Yeah, I know you're getting so much good information out of it. This is the most progress we've made in the whole investigation so far. <laughs> he straight up admitted it. <laughs> okay, here we go. Ask it about the keys. Mm-hmm. Well, I never did actually unlock that gate. I don't know how keys I don't work. Know one of the keys is hiding. I suppose I could lend it to you, but <laughs> I need you to help me with something first. Lady says no, I can't help with her. This is making these weeds grow fast and I can get rid of them. No. How about you grab a pair of them garden shears and clip all them weeds along the side of the house? I'm going to murder every flower and get you blamed for it. I'm just going to stab him in the neck with these. That Is this your first rodeo? <laughs> you don't stab someone until your fourth or fifth rodeo. <laughs> Then they'll hide the body for you in the the bulls. Which of these are paddock? Which of these are we? Get them all. See, we don't give a damn. You send us to do gardening work, we will wreck your whole garden. As far as I'm concerned, they're all weeds. Oh, they just keep popping up. Okay, these are these are devil weeds. They should not be growing that fast. Faster, faster! Oh God, they're coming back! Please. Oh, the voodoo. It's getting to us. What the fuck? You want right. to try this? This is nuts. Nope. Can't be done. Alright, alright. We're going to need some kind of poison. we got to poison this whole garden. Let's burn it all down. No! Seriously, how are you supposed to do this? I think what we're supposed to do is call it quits and admit that we were not supposed to be gardeners. Not supposed to be gardeners or detectives. Yep. I don't really know what jobs are right for us, but it's none of these. And also, let's never go to Louisiana because it grosses me out every time we play this game. I don't think actually Louisiana is full of barbecues full of <laughs> discarded food and weird <laughs> bugs and stuff. But who knows? Anyway, thanks for sticking it out this far with us. Uh, if you know how to destroy an entire garden in a way that doesn't involve clipping, <laughs> we'll probably try arson or a pickaxe next. I don't know. If that's the kind of uh, garden-destroying excitement that you're hanging in there for, stick around, because <laughs> we'll be back. We have not yet solved this mystery, and we're not giving up. If our name isn't Phineas Frog Detective, <laughs> I don't honestly know if that is our name. It's not our name. Phineas is the name of the pirate are we named after the pirate oh shh plot twist we're the great grandson of this pirate it's our treasure we're on his side we're solving so much of this mystery by not talking to anybody <laughs> all right folks uh to find out how this all turns out or how we invent how it all turns out <laughs> be sure to come back we had fun see you soon bye bye all